Alright, back again Luke here, and today we've got out the old Kix91 control box super gun, and I figured we could put in this game here. Twin B Yaho, 10th anniversary. So, let's pop this on and play some of that. This is a fantastic game, very vibrant in colors and uh, great music to it, so let's pop this on and give it a shot. It's going to take a couple of seconds for it to warm up here. Do its little ROM check, RAM check. But a terrific shooter. So let's put in a few coins here. And we'll start it up here. You'll notice at the beginning here it'll show you uh, how to play it. You can do a practice mode with only three stages. You can do normal or you can do the special mode. So what we'll do is we'll just go to the special mode here. This is the more difficult mode. And here you have uh, about 12 seconds to see the different options. You can press up and down on the joystick to take a look at what each one does. And you can choose your weapons here at the beginning. Um, which way you want to do the shot, like A and B, or just shot like so. This will do A and B. So. All right, we'll just keep it on left-handed, right-handed here. But uh, what can be said about Twin B that uh, probably hasn't been said already? Fantastic game, um, really vibrant, really kind of playful. Kind of some parts of it seem a bit uh, over the top, really kind of fun and, I don't know, kind of childish, uh, you know, to an extent, but very, very awesome. And that doesn't, uh, doesn't take away from the game at all. So the theme here is quite unique. You can see in the background here a lot of vibrant colors, but with the different bells here, you can pick up different weapons. Uh, idea is to shoot them until they change colors here. Green will give you multiplayer. Red is a bubble. And by holding it down, you can launch out your, uh, your special attack here. But being a shooter, it uh, <laughs> it is quite difficult to talk and play at the same time here. I put up a little bit of gameplay on this once before a long time ago, but uh, never a full playthrough, so I figured we could do that today. Take a look at some of the different power-ups here as well. Ah, ran right into that one. But uh, just a gorgeous game. And this one here is quite rare uh, to find. It's almost as rare as, uh, I think... No, it's actually probably more rare than Sexy Parodius, which is a, a really great game. That one's actually quite comical and funny. This one kind of has the cutesy, like the cute em up thing going here. Here's our boss, first boss. I don't know 
what I got hit by. I must have gotten hit by a stray shot there. But uh, each time you die, it will keep bringing you back to uh, that main menu that you saw there just a second ago. See if we can get rid of him here in a few seconds. There we go. <laughs> but quite entertaining. There's about uh, six stages to the game here, and each stage has a uh, pretty cool theme going to it. Once again, this is uh, <laughs> quite a bit difficult here to talk and play at the same time, so if you catch me jumping off track, it will happen quite a bit. But the different themes that they have going in the background, just awesome to take a look at. Kind of get you sidetracked sometimes, just trying to look at the backgrounds. And they mix in with the foreground here. I want to try and get a green, uh, green bell here sometime. See if we can, uh, the uh, ambulance there that'll repair your ship. I should have chosen a different one here to show you guys some different stuff. But it will repair your ship as long as you can get inside it quick enough. picking up anything special here. Missing all the good stuff. But trying to keep your eye on the what's going on in front of you, it's kinda tricky. <laughs> the green one. Go on, where's the green one? There we go. Ah, just as I died. <laughs> Wonderful. Let's see, we'll go with a regular shot here. Getting hit by everything. There we go. This will help out quite a bit. Wow! Well, it was gonna help out quite a bit. There we go. Says like, thank you! So, you'll notice him losing arms there. Uh, we're 
already halfway through the game here. Just uh, three more stages to go. See about getting a shield here so they can protect ourselves. Oh, I got hit by the ship. Let's go down here to Bakudan. That's our bombs. I always love that. It's kind of cool. It'll shoot from left to right. Tank the ship here in just a few minutes. Hopefully, we can get through this one a bit unscathed. Green one I wanted. Keep it with the uh, the bomb here. This thing's almost destroyed anyway, so. There we go. This one here, he's gonna start shooting bullets from the side, they'll come up from the bottom. You just gotta watch out where the bullets are coming from. Which is much easier said than done. love it at the end of the stage they always say yahoo just supposed to be like yahoo ah knew that was gonna happen just too difficult to try and keep the volley going here See if we can keep this for at least a couple of seconds. Well, we were able to keep it for a couple of seconds, literally. <laughs> Watch out for the cats here too, the Cheshire cats. Let's go back up here. Let's go to a normal shot. Ah, uh, that was kind of cheap. It came out of nowhere. Should have changed it to the other shot here. This will be more tricky.
Kind of getting there. Still got a bit more. Just our mid boss. Here we go. Here's our real boss or bosses. As you shoot these guys, the balls get bigger. <laughs> Not theirs though. Well, yeah, I guess it is theirs. <laughs> Just keep the same shot. And you gotta watch out for the roses as well. On to our next stage. But yeah, it's a real fun and exciting game here. Really cool to get into. And the game is, uh, it is challenging, especially on the challenging level. Um, if you do it just on the practice mode, it only gives you three stages. And on uh, intermediate, it only gives you the, um, let's go punch here. It only gives you the, uh, I think it'll give you just a regular ending, but with this one it'll give you a little bit of a different one. So there is some replay value for it. You gotta do a lot of dodging in this game though. It's quite cheap. <laughs> I think blue is um, the one for our power. But so much stuff going on on the screen at one time, it's kind of hard to see what is what. Just got it on our regular punch right now. But yeah, if you have a chance to play this one, I would totally recommend playing it on uh, MAME or... If you can, by any chance, pick it up, that would be even better. Um, much better experience, for sure. Woo, bullets flying everywhere. But since it's so pink on the screen here, let's see here. I think my, uh, it's getting a little bit difficult to see what is what on here. My joystick, I think, is sticking a little bit to the bottom and the side here. Let's see it. Here's one of our bosses. Kind of stuck. Stuck there in the middle. Let's see. Go down with their bombs again.
Ah! Got hit by the sword there. No way out of that one. Kind of stuck in the middle here. Let's go with our regular shot. Still going here. I think this is approaching our last stage here, We're getting close to it. Yeah, this is not our final boss, but it's a pretty cool boss. This is Alice here. back up again. Now we're approaching our last stage here. This stage here is just more of kind of just literally chasing and staying alive till the end here. going with this one here not too much longer and it'll be done that was about the end of it right here Here's the end of our game. And there we go. 
Nonetheless, guys, just wanted to share this with you here. A bit of a full game uh, playthrough of Twin B. Yahoo! 10th anniversary. And yeah, if you stuck on this long, then great. Um, try and put up some more videos here soon. So, thanks for watching.